Hey guys, welcome to a new video of me. Um, today it's so hot in the UK right now. I, I, I'm trying to keep my focus. I will be showing you a part of animation, uh, animation tutorial ish type of thing. Um, so today we will be talking about the bouncing ball exercise and that helps you understand a fundamental part of animation. It's easy to practice. Um, because all you do is draw a ball. So what does it teach you? The bouncing ball teaches you timing, spacing, uh, arcs, squash and stretch, and slow ins and slow outs. So uh, later on, well throughout this, I will explain a little bit about these um, fundamentals. And I hope they're clear as I show it with my bouncing ball. So my character that I'm drawing right now, she's just resting back into a chair. Um, but there are other ways to approach this action because it has to do with mood. It has to do with attitude, like someone that drops back into a chair, you know, because they're tired or because they're annoyed or um, someone that just carefully sits down because they don't want to make a noise or they don't want to hurt themselves or they're already in pain, you know. Um, the bouncing ball allows you to experiment with movements. So it, it allows you to practice the slowing ins of a movement. How does someone, like, do they sit back right away? That would mean that they are fast in their, in their initial movement and then slow down as they you know, almost reach the back of the chair, or are they just very careful throughout? That would mean that all the balls would be stacking up more. Now, you you might be thinking, what what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about right now. I'll show you. So, the bouncing ball exercise: you just draw a ball and you space them how you want to try out your movement. So as you can see in this part, I space the bouncing ball very uh, close upon each other, then a bit separated and then closing on each other again. This creates the movement of something slowing into the gesture or into the movement, then speeding up a bit in the middle and then slowing out again. So that is slowing in and slowing out. Um, and that's what you can experiment with. Every bouncing ball that you make teaches you something it helps you understand how like if you have um, a character that you want to have move real quick you don't have to draw that character over and over and over again to experiment that way you just draw a bouncing ball and see what kind of movement you want and through that you know you have the information that you need to make your character move in a certain way so the second example it spaces out far further in the start uh, than the first one did which means that he will be much quicker in the in the beginning and then in the end he slows down these things take me 10 minutes to do a few frames um, and already I see differences in movements um, that's why I really like this exercise and I wanted to use this as uh, one of my first ones um, as a tutorial you know, to, to help others um, that have interest in animation um, to explore it in a not so difficult way, you know, it's just a ball. So right now we have the real bouncing ball because he will be bouncing off the floor. So here we focus more on. Uh, squash and stretch slow wins and slow outs are still part of it timing is still part of it spacing is still part of it but it also does another thing which is anticipation so as you can see I draw my ball in a normal shape and then I squeeze it together onto the floor and then it bounces off the floor as if it made this momentum as if it created this momentum by pushing itself into the floor and then being launched upwards um, by doing that anticipation is very important because every living thing anticipates before they make a certain movement it creates 
a form of realism to something and it gives reason as to how it moves and why it moves um, the second ball it's far more bouncy than the other one is it shoots up out of the out of the screen and it returns again and it even bounces halfway up again and that with that I wanted to show that there is the bouncing ball can also show you materials you know if you have something that is really stretchy or really bouncy um, it will squash more it will stretch further um, and if you have a rock and you throw a rock there's not there's not much anticipation in the rock um, but when it for some reason <laughs> is able to get off the floor how will it travel how will it fight that gravity it wouldn't really it would just pop up and then drop back down far quicker than he would go up so the third ball that I made was one that was heavier in movement. It's a very fun exercise. I, anyone that watches this, I hope that you try it. It's easy to do. You can do it anywhere. You can, uh, right here I use uh, TV paint, but you can use other programs as well, like Toon Boom, but some people also use Sketchbook, and I've heard people using Psy. Um, it's just so you understand the movement better to understand this part of fundamentals and the good thing about this is it's not related to any skill level a professional can do this a beginner can do this if you've never touched animation before and you always wanted to but it looked so scary because you know Disney does animation <laughs> well you can do animation as well very simple bouncing ball um, if you do try it have fun with it as you can see I just put some ears on it and a little face and go for it experiment and the sky's the limit it's your imagination let it go free so I hope that this was some help it was a very quick one um, but if you try it out, if you're motivated, if you have any questions, please comment below. Give this video a like, follow me on my socials, and again, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.